Hello, hello, and good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Today's election day. Yay! So make sure that you haven't voted. You get out there and vote and everything. So happy Tuesday. And welcome, welcome. We're going to be talking about our new Libby uh, ebook, audiobook service. So welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, the Grovetown Library, uh, that used to be the Uchi Creek Library, and also the Harlem Library, too. So very glad that you're here with me today. Feel free to make any kind of comments or ask any questions that you have into the chat. And welcome to class. One of the big benefits is coming to our classes. I know you may be watching this uh, previously recorded, but one of the big benefits of coming to one of our live classes is, is that you can, of course, ask questions and see if I can help in any way and everything. So before we get started, let me go ahead and let you know. Definitely feel free to kind of post any questions you have into the chat. And also the big question I always ask is, how can I help? Okay. Uh, do you miss the RB Digital talking about this specific class? Uh, of course, we're going to be talking about RB Digital and some of the other stuff that it still uh, supplies to us at the library. We're also be talking about a whole bunch of other resources too, but we'll start off with Libby and talking about how to get that set up and everything. Okay, so be excited. We have something new. You may be cautious wondering about how do I get it to work, and we're going to talk about that. And I also have a little video of showing it how to work on my phone. And remember, we're going to get more ebooks, more audiobooks, and they're completely free through the library. All you need is your library card. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about some of our other classes that we have coming up this month. It is November. Happy November, everybody. So, of course, today we're doing our Let's Talk About Libby free ebooks, digital audiobooks, and other library resources. And tomorrow we're going to be doing at 11 o'clock internet shopping and digital couponing here on our YouTube channel. And then tomorrow afternoon we're going to be do, doing holiday gifts and um, gadgets, holiday gadget and gift ideas, um, new things that have come out. We'll be talking about all kinds of neat, new little gadgets you can get. We'll talk about video game systems as well. Try to try to get that because I believe there's a little bit more um, confusion than it used to be about some of the names of those. So we'll talk about that and kind of break it down. Uh, good gift, holiday gift ideas. And on Thursday morning, I'm gonna be doing another Raspberry Pi computer projects with me. Come join me with that. We'll be doing some neat projects with our Raspberry Pi, a little computer wiring some stuff for it. Good for all ages, gets into coding a little bit and also um, programming and fun activities and stuff like that. And then uh, Thursday afternoon, we're going to be doing internet safety and security. So come join me for that. We'll talk about what VPNs are and all kinds of other things. So as you can see, we have a full month of different programs. Our programs are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So come join me and they'll all be available on, here on our YouTube channel. So come join me then. And it's funny because I have a little side note there that to the 26th is Thanksgiving. So let's remember what the twents on the 26th. In a little bit, we'll kind of go through our steps here. So I'll kind of set, save this, but I'm, every time I do a class, I've been talking about basically how to set up Libby, but we're going to go in depth in that in just a second. Just realize our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. I believe most of our libraries today are uh, polling centers. I'm not sure about all of them, but I do know the Evans one is. So that's uh, it's not open today, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But you can go to gchrl.org for details about hours and everything and what days were open. And of course, call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Curbside holds pickup is still available. It's a fantastic service. Make sure to thank the librarians for doing that. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up and everything. And right now we're having a subscribe drive where if we can get 100 subscribers, we'll get our own customized YouTube channel address. Okay. So make sure that you can. Um, so if not in the future, just search for GCHRL videos and we'll pop right up. So let's go back to what we're going to talk about. And I will reappear. Woo, it's me. 
<laughs> All right, so, so let's go ahead and let's pull up um, our handout here. Let's see. So the big thing about the big change with Libby is basically instead of using RB Digital, we're going to be using Libby. Okay. And I'm going to have this so that you can download it too. So let me get that open and it's loading. Have to wait for it to load. All right, it's still thinking about it. All right, there we go. Okay, so the big thing, of course, about this is I'm actually going to be pulling up the Libby website too. So this has a lot of our information on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have this full screen, but I'm actually going to have it so it's like that. And then I can actually flip through it pretty well like that. And then I also have a video I'm going to pull up too. So not only are we going to be talking about Libby, of course, but we also be talking about other services. Hmm. Okay, hang on. And let me post that in the chat. So let me get the link for that real quick. make sure that's this, the right one okay it's not so I will upload the new one real quick <laughs> all right so any questions before we get started? So let's talk about what we're going to cover while that uploads. What topics will we cover? Well, the big thing is we're going to talk about Libby with our ebooks and stuff. So first we're actually going to start out with that. And then we'll kind of go back and talk about some of our other resources like our Pines app. RB Digital app. We'll talk about law resources from the library, Galileo, um, magazines that are still up and available. And all right, now we go. I got it going now. Now, so I'll post this into the chat. There you go. I'm good to go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about, go ahead and talk about Libby and then we'll be coming back uh, to our other resources as well, okay? So the big focus, of course, is Libby. So that's probably the main reason why you're watching this is to learn more about that. So we're gonna delve into that and then we'll go back and talk about some of our other resources. So if you're not familiar, Libby is our new system which has more ebooks more audiobooks on it it's from the same company that did rb digital and everything but they're moving over to a newer system so if you have used rb digital in the past and everything yay love libby yes absolutely hey mac how are you glad you're here so if you have used um, the rb digital system in the past it will be very familiar to you about this as well uh, so Libby is our new resources for the latest ebooks and audiobooks with Libby. You can borrow free ebooks and digital audiobooks from your library. All you need is your library card, okay? And there has been a few questions of um, if you've had problems with your library card, of course, call into the library. Uh, the librarian's happy to help. Contact us on Facebook and stuff. Happy to help that way as well, okay? All you need is your library card. Uh, the biggest step, and I'll tell you this, I walk. We're gonna, I have a little video I'm going to show. It's kind of like us going through Libby and kind of walking around and looking around and stuff. But our biggest one is um, 
installing it. So basically you need to go to the the um, app stores for Android or app stores for ISO phone or Apple phones and basically search for Liber Libby and it should say overdrive okay install Libby on your device now one of the big things is don't look for Columbia County Library don't look for Harlem or Grovetown Library when it says well, who's your library say Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library remember earlier I said GCHRL Dot org is our library address that's right that means greater Clarks Hill regional library system now you should probably just start be able to start typing in greater Clarks Hill and maybe regional and it'll actually pop up and say hey regional library system you say yes and then it'll give you like two other options and just choose the one that says Georgia download destination okay I feel like this is really the biggest learning curve here is to know these uh, three things um, so if you were at home and you hadn't heard about us hadn't had a class like this or anything then you that may be what's stumbling you know stopping you from using our new system then it'll ask you for your library card give it your library card and then you're in okay now I have heard and we'll talk about that in just a second it can sometimes take up to 24 hours since this has started October 1st so it's only been around for about a month um, the big thing about this is <laughs> much larger selection absolutely Mac absolutely that's right absolutely much larger system and of course the biggest question I get asked about this is there ever a late fee with ebooks or e audio digital audiobooks no there's not they just expire your time runs out you don't have to worry about doing anything returning it digitally or anything like that um, but there's only so many copies which we'll talk about that a little bit too and then basically you just browse your catalog, catalog and then you can borrow your titles as they say. More information, there's a great um, PDF listed here. I'm actually going to go to the full Libby website and we're going to go through that. And we'll go and talk a little bit of detail about some folks that are switching for RB Digital to this, you know, what questions they may have. And like I said, I'll show a video in a minute about um, using uh, Libby. So let's go ahead, let's talk a little bit of background about Libby. And I would disappear so I'm not um, blocking anything. So basically we switched over to Libby on uh, October. And let me zoom in a little bit. Might be better if I do do, um, okay, go ahead and do this full screen. There we go. Okay, as of October 1st, RB Digital eBooks and audiobooks will be moved over to Libby. Borrow and enjoy all the same great eBooks and audiobooks you loved in RB Digital. Like I said, it does have a larger selection now. Transition from RB Digital process could take up to 24 hours. I don't think that's really an issue anymore, maybe because we just had a whole big influx of people doing it, you know, the first week or anything. But do realize if it does have any issues, wait a day or call in or you know contact us at the library on Facebook or anything once the transfer is complete you'll be able to access ebooks and audiobooks on the Libby app remember if you currently have a book checked out in the RB digital app it will be available through the remainder of the lending period so you can finish your title without disruption or risk of losing your place in the book so hopefully that answered one more advanced question I guess you'd say your holds will not be transferred from RB Digital, meaning books that you're like on a wait list for, and your wish list and checkout history will not be moved to RB Digital. Okay, so do realize that those will not be moved over to RB Digital, and I actually want to let's actually go to this site here. So this is the Libby website, okay? And it's very interactive with uh, the little bit of visuals here. They even have a QR code, which is that barcode there. Basically, I would say most of our smartphones now, if you hold your camera up to a QR code, which is this square, usually it'll pop up and automatically say, hey, do you want me to connect you to that website? 
And you can pretty much just say yes. Okay, so I'm gonna show a video here that's gonna go into that a little bit. So with Libby, trusted with millions of libraries, patrons across North America and around the world, it's recommended by all kinds of websites, BuzzFeed, Forbes, Popular Mechanics, Reader's Digest, Lifehacker, all kinds of stuff. Read across the devices, all your loans, notes, bookmarks, and reading. Uh, progress sync across your devices. So let's say that you had like an Amazon uh, Fire tablet or something. And I do recommend those usually coming up in the holidays and then the, the gadget helpful, uh, in the, excuse me, in the gadgets and holiday gadgets and gifts class, we'll be talking about those two. Usually they're pretty inexpensive, you know, seven inch, 10 inch uh, screens. Uh, of course, they're not as powerful as an iPod, um, excuse me, an iPad or anything, but you can use that with our eBooks and also with the audiobooks as well, and it will synchronize across all that. Of course, there's great ways uh, to connect to stuff to your car, going on a, a road trip or something, driving somewhere, or maybe even just around town a little bit. You want to listen to your audiobook, should, you can do that, uh, connecting up, just any way that you can do sound from your device, okay? They do allow off um, offline access as well, okay? So you can save them. If you don't have a device that is connected to the internet all the time, maybe you do have like an Amazon tablet and you only connect it to at home, but you want to listen to a book in the car, that is all still possible, okay? There you go. 20 best apps of 2010s. PC magazines, the best free software 2019, Time Magazine, best iPhone, Android soft, you know, apps 2018, browse, search, and discover. Uh, one really big thing is it'll actually suggest other books uh, is one of their big focuses, okay? So they have a whole explore section. There's for their, our eBooks. Libby's eBook Reader makes it easy to customize how you read you can adjust an ebook's font size, book layout, and lighting uh, as you read. You can also add bookmarks, create notes, highlights, and define words. Okay. An intuitive and beautiful audiobook player. Okay. So that's kind of what the audiobook player is. One big thing is you can set up a sleep timer. So if you are someone that likes to listen to an audiobook when you're going to sleep you can actually set it for a certain amount of time and it'll stop I've even had it where um, basically I don't only, only wanted to listen to 30 minutes or an hour of an audiobook and then use it as a timer and it would stop the audiobook automatically and there are people and it does have this there are people that will want to listen to a book uh, not at double speed but maybe like 1.3 maybe 1.5 uh, percent faster uh, times faster and it will allow you to do that as well so let's go ahead and let's look at our little video here and I've got a little another little video I'm going to show too meet Libby the free one tap reading app from your library with Libby you can borrow free ebooks and digital audiobooks from your library all you need is a library card when you open Libby for the first time, she'll help you find your library. Then, you can explore your library's collection and borrow titles or place holds instantly. On your shelf, you'll find all your loans and holds as well as any titles you've tagged. Loans are automatically downloaded for offline use when you're on Wi-Fi. If you're using mobile data, you can stream titles until you're on Wi-Fi. Your loans are returned automatically on their due dates, so you never need to worry about late fees. Tap Manage Loan to see more options for each title, like returning early. Tap a title to open it and start reading. If you belong to a library in the United States, you'll see the option to send most ebooks to Kindle or to start reading in Libby. Use the bottom navigation to switch between your shelf, your library, and your current read. In the Libby menu, you can add a library, 
change your app settings, get help, and more. Download Libby to start borrowing today. Happy reading!
So this actually is going to play a little sample of the book for us. <laughs> Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling Read by Jim Dale An unabridged performance brought to you by Pottermore from J.K. Rowling Chapter 1 The Boy Who Lived Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of Number 4 Privet Drive were proud to say they were perfectly normal, thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything straight. And that's really it. It's just kind of a walkthrough of our, our books there. We saw uh, new books. We saw, um, it, uh, it really does a good job of suggesting books sci-fi books and everything and i think my microphone may have been turned off a little bit i'm sorry um after that but i was just talking to you i promise uh but anyway i've been was my microphone was muted anyway so basically what did we cover we covered a lot of things we covered about getting a books and if it says put on hold that means it's not available right now but you'll be put on the list but if you click where it says borrow of course that means that you can uh, download the book and read it right now okay so we saw lots of different categories lots of different suggestions um, going around and uh, hopefully that was very helpful so does anybody have any questions before we kind of move on to our next section Whoop. like I said this this uh, excuse me this website right here is a big help okay overdrive.com forward slash apps forward slash Libby okay of course you can call into the library questions or contact us on our Facebook page okay well hopefully that was helpful okay so let's go ahead and let's talk about some of our other things that we have or other resources that are available through the library we'll also be talking about um, Acorn TV and some of our other services too Let's go ahead and talk about what we will need for all our services. What will we need? We'll need a library card. Yay, absolutely, we'll need a library card. A big one is also going to gchrl.org. If you do have any questions, um, the big thing about this site is our main library site is where you access most of what we have. And for lots of information on here about our services, availability, and also this is where you can go. Okay, go away. Thank you. Also where you can go and talk about, you know, what our hours are. And we even have a nice little graphic here that talks about um, the retirement <laughs> of Libby. I mean, excuse me, retirement of RB Digital and going off and using, of course, our new Libby service too. Like I said, the library is closed today uh, for voting, as we talked about earlier. This also where it lists our other online programs and when those are available and story time and everything. Now, isn't he cute? A little west of there. Also, our other programs that we have going on, Teen Advisory Panel. Oh, man, that sounds great. Uh, Virtual Baby and Me, Pub Fiction is coming up, which is a great discussion. We'll be doing an app swap class coming up. Just talks about all kind of different classes that are coming up too. All right, so we're going to talk about Acorn TV and our indie flicks in just a second. And of course, talking about our books and everything. And this is the gchrl.org uh, website. One big way to access everything is click up here where it says menu, okay? And it has our different categories, sections. Now, one of the things is you'll need to have a account here on the website. It'll be a lot easier to do it this way because when you click on some of our departments, they will require you to have logged into our website. So just go down here, click accounts. 
If you don't have one, register. All you need is your an email address, your um, your and your library card, and you can log in. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I will use that with a um, different web browser because it'll be a lot easier because that one's already logged in. So I'll do it with this one. I believe it's already logged in for me. Okay, let me log in real quick. There we go. All right, so now when I click on the menu and it says my account, it'll actually list my profile or log out. That's how I know I, that I'm logged in, okay? All right, so Let's go ahead and let's talk about our next section. Um, one big thing is some of the stuff like RB Digital, uh, each service may need you to create your own user uh, name and password. I recommend you use the same one as your the library G, uh, the, the library website you set up just so that it'll be easier to remember. Okay. So let's talk about our Pines app. Okay. This is the same way of accessing gapines.org, okay? So this is the app that you can download. And why I use the app, well, one of the big benefits is when we do a search, we actually not only get knowing what books are in, it also shows us what audiobooks are available as well and also our CD audiobooks shows available as well all the way across our Pine system okay now I'm not 100% sure how accurate that is with our new Libby system but I do know that's the way it has worked in the past with the e audiobooks but of course that's our whole library and this will actually allow you to get books from other libraries as well okay one of the big things is having a hold and one of the things you can do with our, our hold is you can check out books from other libraries. They'll ship it to, to our, tell it which library um, you know, is your main library. It'll ship it to the library and they'll have it on hold. Now, if you do use the curbside holds pickup, that's one thing that you can do. You need to go to our main gchrl.org and it'll give you information on there about filling that out when you're going to pick up and all kinds of stuff like that okay it's a great service the librarians are doing make sure to thank them for doing that yay <laughs> the other thing is we can click here where it says items checked out so it will remind you so let's say that you're um, headed to the library you're going to try to take a book back you're trying to remember well, now which books did I check out and maybe if you're checking out some books and some videos and stuff like that for little bits you may be thinking, oh no, do I have all of the books that we checked out? Well, click where it says items checked out, and of course, and it'll list those there. A big one too is heading back to the library. One, if you did have a late uh, fee, uh, what is the late fee before you get to the counter? So you already know what it is. Of course, you can click there and say fines. Also, the book allows you to extend your checkout as well and it'll give you the options on that if it's available okay I have done uh, audiobooks and then extended it like three times and then it'll tell me when my uh, rental extension is up or borrow extension is up and then I would know when I need to return the book another thing is that the app will give you alerts if you set it up to give you notifications and stuff it'll pop up and say your book is due you know two days from now like okay well that's great oh your book is due tomorrow <gasps> oh no I gotta I gotta get on the ball and finish up the book so I can take it back okay or click it and say oh no I'm out of town see if you can uh, extend your time uh, through this app and you'll be good to go okay the other thing is that actually will have your library card okay so if for some reason maybe you don't have your same car keys hopefully you got the little dongle thing put it on your car keys that have your library card on it and maybe if you don't have it for some reason uh, you're right on the app here you can pull it up so they can scan and see what your library card is okay so huge benefit right here 
lots of stuff, a lot of power going on in just using this one app. So let's talk about our pitfalls a little bit, and I will reiterate uh, one of our pitfalls as well. Many library services need you to set up a username and password beyond your library ID. Try to keep the same one to make it easier to remember later, okay? Holds are put all pulled in the morning. Now, the holds, you'll have to check the library website to see what they're doing about holds and stuff. Because of us staying home, staying safe, of course, we're not doing any of our programs on ground. We're doing it virtual like this right now. And one of the things is the, um, the holds may be a little bit different, so you may just want to check in on that. Uh, many sites uh, need to use G go to gchrl.org first, kind of use it as a gateway, log in, and then when you click on the service, it'll let you in uh, that way, okay? Some services, example ebooks, may be limited to a certain number of checkouts. Just try again soon, okay? So when we talked about Libby and it said put on hold, well, there you go. Click there, put on hold. Uh, view that as someone else is using it right now. It'll be your turn soon. And uh, just realize the libraries, there's only so many checkouts at one time the library can have. Okay. So it's a benefit, of course, that we have those, but the book publishers will put a certain limit on certain books. Okay. The number of checkouts at a time. So now we're going to talk about. Uh, RB Digital. Okay, now like I said earlier, RB Digital has switched over for the ebooks and the audiobooks, or the e audiobooks, digital audiobooks, and now both of those are on Libby. Okay, but if you want comics or the magazines, or of course also easy ways to, to uh, resubscribe to some of our other services, the RB Digital app is really the easiest way to do it. Okay. So if we want to look at comics, and let's pull up our website here. We are logged in already on here. Let's go ahead and go to, um, shoot, where do I want to go? I'm going to go to, yeah, Resources Digital Library. And I won't click Books, because that's actually going to send us to Libby on Overdrive. Let's say Comics. And that will actually send us to our regular RB Digital. Remember. Comics is only on RB Digital for now, okay? And of course, our ebooks are on there as well. So if we go to the main RB Digital, we have our magazines listed as well. And these are apps that you can download to your device as well. And just kind of give a sample of some of the magazines that we can see on here. Um, canoe and kayak right there <laughs> yeah let's see if we click that it'll pop up say when its last publication was what version of this and if there's previous um, issues that you can check out you can just click them down there oh, it looks like that magazine stopped in 2017 what digital photo okay so that's just the 2019 copies they have going on there but, of course, you can click them, read them all on there as well. Best gear of the year. That, that's the kind of thing that you want right there. All right. So, there's your magazines. Okay. And one question I'll get asked is, is Consumer Reports on here? It actually is not. There's another way that we can access Consumer Reports. Okay. Here's Food Network Magazine, and that is a current, the current issue right there, and here's Past Issues. You can go click back to see Past Issues as well, okay? These are great to view on, uh, of course, your device. You can walk around and just read it, zoom in, and all kind of good stuff. Okay, so we talked about our magazines. We showed the comics a little bit too, and of course our audiobooks now are all on the Libby service. Best thing about this is that there's no late fees, okay? 
All right, so we talked about our living service again. I'll just say it one more time. The big thing is when you install the Libby, it'll pop up and say what library you're with. Don't say Columbia County. Don't say Harlem. Don't say, um, you know, Grovetown. Actually say Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System, and it'll give you two choices and choose the one that says Georgia Download Destination, and then give them your library card, and you are good to go, okay? So let's go ahead and I wanted to, oh, well, we're, we're gonna, we'll talk about this and then we'll talk about our, um, our services like Acorn TV, okay? So Law Depot, what kind of law services can you get? So through Law Depot, again, this is one of those where don't go to lawdepot.com and try to access it because it is a paid site, but if you access it, access it, excuse me, accesses it <laughs> but if you access it through our library home page oh can I access it yeah access it right here click there it'll give you access and then you can go to the website and you'll be good to go okay so law depot and I went around and asked uh, some librarians when we were getting I was getting ready for this class uh, the big thing was what you know what do most people are asking about what are they interested in they talked about of course last will and testament of course is a really big one that people are interested in doing uh, the living will as well last will and testament is who decides what you get living will is you know what happens if you're an incapacitated okay of course a bill of sale I've always said you know a good handshake or something means that something's sold but if it's something important enough you know, as a car or something, you might want a bill of sale. And also child medical consent forms that a school uh, may want or require or something. Uh, library will, with, will notarize uh, Evans and Grovetown. Uh, documents for free, of course. Um, if, you, if you're not available, do that in some way. Uh, the library just kind of ask 30 minutes for closing. Get that because sometimes they may have to get other pit people together to help out. Um, to be witnesses or something, okay? Um, lab, your bank or something like that should do notary as well. But big thing is come to a library, get this stuff printed, have someone notarize it, one-stop shop kind of situation. What is Galileo? Galileo allows you to access over 100 databases. Uh, these are things that are not just on Google or just not open to the general open internet, okay? Uh, so accessing these things do cost, but we do have it free through the library to you, okay? Indexing thousands of periodicals, scholarly journals. This information is not available through free uh, search engines or web directories. Over 10,000 journal titles are provided in full text. Other resources include encyclopedias, business, uh, directories and government publications okay how do I access Galileo Well, you access Galileo through the gchrl.org website and also you may you may need or you do need a Galileo password how do we get one of the passwords call into the library they'll give you the current uh, password for Galileo and or you can come into the library and they'll give you that as well okay there is a kids version of Galileo easiest way to get there is the address that I have there and it actually has information based on the child's um, grade age so if they ask a question uh, you know then it be answered in their grade age so let's talk about our TV stuff okay so TV uh, we actually have two free TV services that you can get through the library the way these subscriptions work First one is Acorn TV, IndieFlix TV, also free live concert ones, archived concerts, um, Quello. Uh, wish, thinking about, wishing about going to a concert, well maybe you can go to an older concert or maybe your favorite artist or band or something. Uh, Quello, Stingray, uh, Stingray Quello, excuse me, uh, live concerts. And the way the subscription works, you basically sign in. Uh, all three of these are actually done by with you can do it with the RB Digital app, okay, or you can go do it through gchrl.org. 
go through that. It's a free seven day subscription. Now, once the seven days are up, all you do is you just resubscribe again for another seven days as many times as you want. The only thing we ask the library, it does cost the library every time you subscribe for a seven day uh, um, subscription to it. Just make sure you use it. This is not, this is not like you can only use it once or twice. You can use it as many times as you want. Just make sure that you use it because uh, that's what we want. If we have a service, we want people to use it. All right, so Acorn TV, let's talk about that. And I'll show you a little brief video. So Acorn TV is a streaming service. And this kind of connects up with our cutting the cord class, okay? Uh, so a lot of people are interested in this because they want to see some stuff on demand. They have internet. And maybe they're trying to cut some cost with the TV bill in some way, okay? They've got popular shows on there. Midsummer Murders is on there. Murdoch Mysteries, which is a fun Canadian <laughs> mystery show. They have different guest stars on, and uh, it's kind of fun, okay? They are a, um, the turn of the century, I guess that's what they would call, call that. So people like Thomas Edison and stuff show up in the murder mysteries. Of course, there's Agatha Christie stuff. Perot, Agatha Raisin, some other Agatha Christie shows in Dot Martin too. So let me show quickly. Acorn TV, click there, and it will, I want, to, I want to learn more right now. Actually talks about Acorn TV a lot. Uh, 80 plus exclusive shows include A Good Place, Call Home, Brokenwood Mysteries, Agatha Christie's, Partners in Crime, and a whole bunch of other shows on there too. Features. And I'll go ahead and show our little bit of a trailer here. Rule number one, get them laughing. That's uh, basically the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, no, the holy grail is the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, you're going to be pedantic. Do you bathe at all? Yes, I do. Well, it's obviously time to step it up. I seem to spend my life searching for patterns. What if there isn't one? She's done nothing wrong. Why did you just leave? I have come halfway around the world for you. I'm not giving up that easily. Are you interrogating me? Well, of course not. Uh, simply asking the questions that need to be answered in order to find out who killed him and why. I figured you out. Well, you've succeeded where so many ex-wives didn't. Are you nine? It's all over this, Jack. No question, you were next. This is not a game, mon ami. Tell me the truth now. It is your only chance. Okay, so that's Acorn TV. Like I said, it's free through the library. Gain access, as we talked about that with Darby Digital. Pretty much log in, click Get Start, and it will give you access for seven days. <laughs> for seven days. All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about our next service. Uh, this is called IndieFlix. Okay, IndieFlix service again is similar to Acorn TV that you can do the seven day checkout and then when that expires just check it out for another seven days okay so what they really specific they mostly focus on is international movies uh ones like south korea a lot of foreign films on here of course and uh, um some of that is interesting because uh i was even looking at something yesterday on one of the streaming services clicked it and it actually was a foreign film with subtitles and stuff. So that's becoming more and more um, common. 
wanting to see international TV shows, films, and almost expecting people to be just like, well, you know, it's foreign. It just wanted, it has subtitles on it. So that's kind of being more broad. And also, it also has some old classic films on there as well, such as Magnificent Seven, The Heat of the Night, Hustler, The Third Man. It also has a bunch of classic TV shows like Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, and Dragnet. So if someone says, who's this for? I say, well, it's kind of for anyone that, you know, is interested. And you just have to look on there to see what kind of content that you're interested in. Okay. They also have um, kind of old black and white cartoons as well. So how does this work? Uh, I recommend uh, you know, like a streaming stick, kind of like RB, um, excuse me, Roku or uh, the Roku, the Amazon Fire Stick one. Basically the best, biggest thing to do is in the RB Digital app, go to the menu, select entertainment, select the service that you're interested in, select show or movie, ch click checkout. It'll ask you, do you have a password or not? If you log in with your username and password, and then basically it'll give you a seven day access, okay? And after that seven days up, just um, get access again for, ask for access again for another seven days. All right, so any questions about that? Oh, here's the, the Quello. I can show that real quick too. And I think I have a trailer. I have a trailer for them. So basically, this is the uh, Quello service. Quello Concerts, the world's largest collection of full-length concerts and music documentaries, streaming on demand. The experiences that shaped your life. Iconic artists. New discoveries. Watch Quello concerts at home. Anywhere. That's Quello Concerts. Like I said, again, it has the free seven days, so you can just keep on um, watching it and stuff. Okay, so we talked about La Depot, and also let's go and talk talking about our Artist Works as well. Artist Works is basically a video learning series that we have, and again, it's one of those where it's kind of easiest to do it through the RB Digital or through our website, gchrl.org. And I'll show you a little preview of that. Artist Works for Libraries offers you the highest quality instructive music and art lessons available online today. These video libraries are recorded by our award-winning and highly acclaimed teaching artists and presented so that learners of all skill levels and experience can progress. We provide detailed lessons in a wide variety of instruments, genres, and mediums. Our lessons cover the fundamentals for those just starting out intermediate lessons for those slightly more experienced, and advanced lessons for more seasoned learners. You'll also have access to sample video exchanges in each skill level. Artist Works for Libraries is a great way to learn music or art on your own schedule from the comfort of your home, while having access to today's most sought after teachers. It's a great resource with lots of great lessons in there too from beginner to advanced. And you can also watch it on the uh, computer screen. And also you can watch it, is it, it should be the same. I think this is the same video that's down here. Okay, so we talked about all those great resources too. There's our IndieFlix one and they, I don't know why I wish they had like a little preview video, but they don't. So I just had the, the slide that I made. All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about universal class, okay? This is great for someone that's looking for some continuing education credits or just trying to learn something new, okay? So in my little, uh, you know, my little uh, slide here, one of the things I have talking about is maybe someone that wants to learn coding. 
Maybe someone's looking for a new job somewhere. Maybe someone wants to get a little bit re-advanced in uh, some just Office uh, and know a little bit more about Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Or maybe that someone wants to start their own home-based business, okay? Well, we have our three parts here. We have our, it, I have our 10 hours of HTML coding. That's right here. We have our six hours of general receptionist, okay? And then we have our Excel 2019. So the idea of this one here is someone maybe that they want to learn this, maybe it's something they want to put on their resume, and it does allow you to have put these things on your resume. The other thing here is I chose the general receptionist. Kind of the idea that let's say you had someone come in, they had a, um, a job opening as a general receptionist somewhere, have two people that basically have our you know, identical resumes and everything, but one of them has actually had uh, six hours of online training to become a general receptionist versus the person that hasn't. So the person that has had those six hours, and of course you can do this the class on your in your leisure, they should have a little bit more of an edge because it's something they have on their resume. This is someone trying to learn the newest version. 2019 is the newest version of Excel, 12 hours, um, or if you're just trying to get involved you know, and learn something new as well. And I also chose this course because it talks about making soap, basically the idea of having starting your own home-based business, okay? Uh, you could actually maybe take one of these classes, do a home-based business, and then actually something you could sell, maybe take some of our other classes. We even have an eBay and Facebook Marketplace class coming up. And with those, you could actually make something sell it locally, sell it worldwide if you wanted to uh, through eBay, and there you go right there. So let's go ahead and let's pull that up. Go to gchrl.org, we click our menu. We go down here and it is called Education and Research, and it'll say Continuing Education. There's Universal Class. Now later, We'll be talking about um, Mango, which is how you access the Mango right there. It's a um, learn a new language. Now let me go ahead and I'm going to sign in. This is one where you need to set up your own username and password. As you saw when I clicked on it, it said, hey, you're from the Columbia County Library. And uh, basically I've set it up as the same login as the other. Uh, gchrl.org. So let's go ahead and let's browse courses. Here's our courses on here. Here's our computer training, which is a big one people want. Computer literacy. It's Excel, advanced Excel, cybersecurity, and it kind of starts listing the classes here. Photoshop, Premiere, digital photography class, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, how to sell on eBay, five hour course. Something like that would go more into than what we cover in our classes, but ours are kind of a general overview anyway. Word 2019, PowerPoint 2019, and Windows 10, Windows 7, and Windows 8 right there, okay? So let's go back, and we'll talk about our browser courses. And I want to show you one that has a interesting introduction. I usually show the cooking one because it actually gets really specific, but lots of different things on here. General education, of course. Algebra, accounting, there's babysitting 101, there you go. Home-based business right there. Let's go to crafts and hobbies. Candle making, cake decorating, 
So there's your soap making right there. Now this one doesn't have a video, but I'll just kind of go through it. So I'll flip to the other one that has a video to begin with. And it gives a good big description of your course. It, this does have video lessons, but it doesn't have a video introduction, that's all. So there's your video, your instructor, video lessons. There's other courses that are listed as well. And I will tell you this, you don't have to complete the class. Let's say you go into the course and you say, oh, I'm really am only interested in, you know, uh, three, four, and five for some reason. Okay. You could go in, access, gain access to it. Just go to three, four, and five. Take that, read that if you want. A lot of these, the big thing about these courses, it is a beginning, middle, and end versus someone just posting something on a blog post. Okay. The, uh, the internet has gr lots of great information out there, learning from someone, but the problem is a lot of the time they're already in the hobby, they're already in the job, they're already in uh, the class or whatever. So what I mean by that is there's certain things that they will not cover, they won't talk about uh, the beginning, middle, end. It's almost like they kind of jump in, start telling you about stuff, and then some terms may be thrown at you and you go, I don't know what that means. So do you realize anything like this the the biggest thing is that you can jump in and learn the parts and it also covers the entire part I mean the entire section as well it talks about our learning outcomes additional information here's a big one once you complete the course they do have a certificate that you can have online and print as well also they have a way that you can actually show it actually has its own serial number so that you can post it online okay and then it can be verified that you did complete the course okay all right so let's go ahead back and let's look at the cooking one because I know that one has a really interesting introduction video we won't watch all of it, but we'll watch a little bit of it, okay? Before you can really start to feel comfortable in the kitchen, it's important to understand why you are there and what you hope to accomplish. Like all things you learn in life, you must have a good, solid foundation before you can build on it and become proficient. What is cooking? Cooking can be loosely defined as any action in your kitchen that gets you from point A, a pile of ingredients, to point B, a meal. It is the act of assembling ingredients and or applying heat to ingredients for human consumption. This means that cooking can be as simple as assembling vegetables to make a salad or as complicated as combining a number of different ingredients on a stovetop over a period of three hours. Cooking is actually an umbrella term for a number of tasks and activities. It's kind of like when you think of the word clothes. When you get dressed in the morning, the word clothes really means quite a few things. Undergarments, shirts, shorts, pants, dresses, and socks all fall under the category, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to wear them all at once. In the same way, you can cook using a variety of different methods. You don't necessarily use them all at once, but each of them still counts as cooking. There are ten basic types of cooking. 1. Roasting Roasting is done when you cook food using dry heat. In the historical sense, this includes placing a large piece of meat on a stick and putting it over flames. In the more modern sense, this includes putting things in your oven. Meat and vegetables are the most commonly roasted food items. 2. Broiling Broiling is also typically done in an oven. However, the heat comes from the top of the oven rather than the bottom. You can broil anything from a toasted cheese sandwich to fish. 3. Grilling 
Grilling is when you cook food directly over a heat source. It includes outdoor grilling on a barbecue as well as indoor grilling. For example, when you cook a steak in this way, you place it directly on the grill above the charcoal or flames. 4. Frying Food is fried when it is cooked in some sort of fat, like lard, butter, or oil. It can be done in an oven, a fryer, or a pan. Fried foods are usually higher in calories and fat than food cooked in other ways. 5. Boiling This occurs when the food is placed in boiling water. Many vegetables are cooked this way, although meat and noodles are also commonly boiled. 6. Simmering Simmering is a slow form of cooking. Food is not brought to a boiling point, instead being allowed to warm over a long period of time. It can be done in a pan, the oven, or a slow cooker. 7. Steaming Steaming is done by using the hot vapors of boiling water to cook foods. The food usually never touches the actual water. This is best to keep all the vitamins and nutrients in your food intact. 8. Microwaving This modern cooking type uses the microwave to warm or cook food. Because of their versatility, microwaves can actually be used to perform a number of different cooking types. For example, you can boil, steam, or even defrost things in the microwave. 9. Assembling this type of cooking uses no direct heat. It calls for the combination of un... Okay, so as you can see, we've already learned something, haven't we? Just by a nice little introduction there to get you involved in the course. As we scroll down here, of course, we'll talk about the description, as we kind of already covered. Oh, there's gardening. Oh, there's a whole other... Oh, it's linking us to a different course. Interesting. So this is the cooking and baking, gardening, herbs, arts and crafts they're starting to talk about. So it has a full on video about the art of cooking. Okay. Talks about the different sections, cooking terms, baking, fresh ingredients, pantry, expanding recipes, meal plans, safety in the kitchen. And of course, then you get a certificate of completion there at the end. All right, so we've covered a lot from our continuing education. So let's go into our next part. Let's talk about our mango, okay? And I should be able to pull that up. Let's see. Hold on a second, it's trying to load. Okay, so for that I actually do need the the um the password for that. The Galileo password. Okay, which I don't ha currently have right this second. Alright, so let's go ahead to one of our next big things is our brain fuse. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and pull that up on the screen over here. So if you're at our library site, you do our menu. Oh, hang on, let me get it to reset here. You do menu, educational research, say tutoring, and it takes you to brain fuse, okay? You put in your library card and then it'll actually give you some homework help as well okay so they have live tutoring they do have hours which are listed on there what their live tutoring is they have a writing lab on there skill surfer um, building a library of lessons video tests and more okay you can send them a question to try to find the answer to it for an expert learning li um, language lab okay they also have some steady help. The Leap is available, learning platform. They also have flashcards that you can create. 
Here's a course, if you ever heard the parachute, they have the e-parachute, discover the college majors and careers that match your skills and interests, and you can collaborate. So I know a lot of folks are doing like Zoom and stuff, but this service actually has its own ways that you can do your own private virtual study rooms and stuff, okay? So let's talk about some little known um, things you may or may not know about from gchrl.org resources. One of them is actually accessing the Augusta Chronicle back catalog. Um, it's listed that you can access that up until 1994, currently with text only and images currently to 2017, okay? So they are working to continuously add to this, but that's what they have so far. There's also where you can actually access the Consumer Reports uh, section. I think you need a Galileo password for that to access that. Uh, the Merchant um, Intelligent Research, over 70 million U.S. private businesses are listed there. Okay. Heritage Quest is a big one. Definitely talk to the reference desk about that. They can set you up so you can access at the library the um, Ancestry, but it's not personalized. It's just like a general search, Ancestry.com. But the Heritage Quest, you can actually access at home, okay? And they'll help you uh, set that up at home. Let's see something. Yeah, and you need a, a Galileo um, password uh, for that. Uh, also, you can access Gale which has a lot of travel books on there, a lot of reference information. All you do is you do digital library, and then you'll actually find out the information there and say reference books. So let me show you that. I'm pulling it up so I can uh, show y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's resource. Okay, hang on. It's resources and then digital library. Okay. So if you're using get our website, hit menu, say resources, digital library, and then there's reference, e um, reference ebooks, and where shoot, uh, oh, oh, we have some new resources that have just become available. Okay, and there's Consumer Reports right there, okay. 1998, wow. Okay. Books, newspaper, reference. All right, there's Miguel, do the library card. And then there you go, you can access a bunch of the travel books. They're listed here. Australia and you can actually view the pictures and view ebook and then there's our ebook Let me zoom out there we go Maybe a little too much and there we are we're flipping through our book getting around Sydney Australia Okay. All right, some other information, GCHRL, the other programs that are available and everything that are listed. A big one is to actually have, um, our, there's some reference brochures down at the, the Evans, um, the Columbia County Library in Evans. 
uh, reference section actually has handouts as well. The libraries have some other handouts that are separate as well. And there's also many brochures that can be found. And also accessing uh, gchrl.org, gapines.org section as well. And also we talked about Galileo, Gale, Universal Classes, and Mango. Mingo, learn a new language. <laughs> so we've kind of come to the end of our class here. We have covered a lot, haven't we? Okay. I hope you learned something new. I know that I did. I've learned about them adding some new resources for the Augusta Chronicle. So we'll update our handout for our next time we teach the class. That'll include that as well. So we talked about Libby a lot, didn't we, today? Okay. So hopefully you'll download Libby, use Libby, enjoy Libby, and just give us some feedback about it. I know it's only we've only been using it for a month. It's an updated version of what we had. Of course, switching over to something new, there's going to be a bit of a little learning curve to it. Let's go and talk about some of the classes and stuff that we have coming up. So please come join me tomorrow for our internet shopping and digital couponing class at 11 o'clock. And then holiday gifts, I, holiday gadget and gift ideas. I'm actually currently updating that for tomorrow. So that will have all kinds of new stuff on there. And also on the 5th, come join me at 11 a.m. We're going to be doing Raspberry Pi uh, computer projects with me, Alex, live. And then on the 5th, we'll be doing Internet, which is Thursday afternoon, excuse me, Internet Safety and Security. And next week, we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff, photography, printing, and visual scrapbooking, getting ready to get maybe something together for the holidays to give to someone. It's something that they'll have for years and years. Not just something that maybe we bought at the store or something, but something that they'll really, really like. Okay. And then on the 11th, we'll be doing Gadget Help Live on Facebook Live, on the Harlem uh, Facebook page. In the afternoon, we'll be doing Raspberry Pi Computing Projects with me, Alex, again, a different project, a new project, so come join me for that. And then on the 12th, we'll be doing this class again at 11 o'clock about Libby, all kinds of stuff, digital audiobooks and other resources too. And then on the 12th in the afternoon, we'll be doing the App Swap, which is a really fun class. I'll tell you all about some new apps that I can't live without, stuff I use every day. And of course, you can share your favorite apps that you use with your devices too. And all kinds of stuff. And also, we have Turkey Day coming, so we got some Thanksgiving Day uh, fun stuff. We're going to do a turkey feather catch game. Another thing is let's draw a turkey and animate it, okay? Again, just a little bit to re-emphasize, download the new Libby app. All you need to do is search for not our library names, but Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System, and then choose Georgia Download Destination to enter your library card. Three steps, and then you'll be set to borrow our books. On a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call into library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said before, we're doing a subscribe drive, so we can, if we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, then we can actually get our um, our own customized YouTube address. So please hit subscribe. Remember, you do need to be logged in to ask me any questions or anything in the live session. Uh, don't forget, you can also search for our YouTube um, channel. Just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and you'll be good to go. Well, thank you for attending today. Thank you for being here. Have a safe day. It looks like it suns out. I think it's going to be a little chilly uh, today. Of course, it is 
November now, so it should be a little chilly and stuff. Stay, stay, stay safe, everybody, and um, we're just gonna be happy and positive. And in the future, we will have classes in person again. But right now, we're doing everything virtually and stuff. Very glad that you're here with me today. I'll see you next time. <laughs> have a great day. So bye bye. Bye bye.